Welcome to CorelCAD and today we're going to learn about 3D patterns. We'll start with uh, a basic shape that we want to add some patterns to. In this case uh, a cylinder, 20mm diameter. And let's make that 30mm high. Fairly simple and uh, if that was a knob or something that we're going to attach um, it doesn't really have anything to grip. It would be fairly slippery if we made an object that was just a straight cylinder. So patterning lets us put different shapes there for example. Uh, if we were to create a, another cylinder here, let's say diameter 5, we could extrude that down a little way and say, well, we could add a shape like that to the outside and make a few of them around there, but it'd be time consuming to put them around and also we end up with uh, a situation where we're just making something a lot thicker. We can also subtract it from the shape so that we get uh, an indentation which is a great way to make something that you can you can grip um, or a mark on a knob but if there's only one it's still not all that effective so we'll just undo that and we'll use 3D pattern that's solid 3D operations pattern 3D the first thing you do is select the object and then you say whether you want it linear so in other words in a straight line or circular around an object we want this one to be circular uh, well let's put six of them around the outside so that we've got a fair bit of knurling and we'll go for th the default angle of 360 degrees. We don't have to rotate the pattern elements because uh, they're circles and a circle rotated is still a circle but if it was a square or a triangle <coughs> we'd probably want to rotate it. Uh, finally you've got to give it an axis so you specify the center and then you specify a second point on the axis this cat's moves on the top and the bottom of the cylinder and it very quickly repeats it all the way around and that's how you create a 3D pattern and then we'll find we can very quickly do something like this. Uh, uh, let's subtract from the original all these. And now we've got a shape that uh, we can actually grip onto if that was a knob or something. Um, the other useful thing is it can create gears and other parts. And it's not just cylinders, uh, you can even do something a little more complicated, such as a sphere. Um, let's say we draw a sphere of diameter 10 and we can pattern that as well circular let's put f six of them around so it makes the same shape and again 360 degrees no rotation we'll just give it the axis a little harder to find and again uh, and as you'll find that as you uh, start to remove these you can get some pretty decent shapes cut into the surface so there we have a fairly complicated shape with a combination of different factors so that's pattern 3D uh, very effective at cutting shapes into uh, cylinders and uh, can also be used on other objects um, I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.